For short answer questions, we'll be using the Wirus Question Editor. This is the Wirus Question Editor. By clicking the small yellow icon next to the correct answer field, we see the area where you are to put in the correct answer. When we click on the Validation tab, we see that there are many types of allowed input. We will go over this more thoroughly in the specific video about the Wirus Question Editor. But here, suffice it to say that the input can be general, it can be a specific quantity, or it can be a text including words, sentences, or character strings. So there's a great deal of flexibility when using the Wirus Editor for short answer problems. Here is the text field for the Wirus Question Editor. However, the input can also be an image, a table. The input can involve special characters. You can even embed a YouTube video as part of the question. Clicking on Source will show the HTML source code for the question. Clicking on the square root sign will show you the math editor. And clicking on the stylized C will show you the chemistry editor. We will cover the Wirus editor in much greater detail in the Wirus editor video. After you've input your question and the correct answer, and then selected either the general editor or the scientific editor from the editor required for answer drop down menu. Click the save button to save your question.